I have no idea what to say about this chapter. You probably don't know what to say about this chapter. All I know is that I do know how to feel and I need some serious emotional support right about now. All right, so this chapter of Chainsaw Man picks up directly from the last. It is titled Special Division 5, so you know something crazy was gonna happen before anything actually ever even happened. And you know, going into it, I thought, hey, maybe we'd actually be focusing on Naya to this chapter, focusing on Barum. <laughs> oh God, oh, I was wrong. Because upon seeing the severed head of Nayata, Dingy is in absolute shock. Now, here is the thing. Many viewers in the last video I did on 170 pointed out that Nayata's mole on her face is gone. Seems like that's still the case with this chapter as well. And the reason I mentioned this is because for what it's worth, you don't see Fujimoto forget to do that for characters, especially ones like Nayuta. So I'm still not 100% sold, 100% yet, but I sure as heck am 100% sad and 100% scared and 100% in denial. Digi can only mutter Nayuta's name as everyone looks upon Digi in horror and shock, most likely wondering what's about to happen next. Barum sitting there, probably thinking that this is all just so humorous, tells Dingy that this was downright cruel of him to do, but there was no way around it as it was all done to save the world. And when you think about it from the perspective of Barum, I think he probably knows what he's about to do. He's about to die here. Feels like he's telling himself that this was where it would all lead to and that there was nothing he could do because it was the only choice they had. Does feel at times that while we really do hate to see Dingy suffer, that there is some sort of greater purpose to this beyond just Dingy. There is a force through the trees, so to speak. Either way, what happens next? Uh, well, it, 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 it's, it's most deserved. Dingy grabs Barum by the throat as his entrails shoot out of his stomach and wrap around his neck as Asa, witnessing it firsthand, is in pure shock. Dingy then, with incredible pressure, literally squeezes the head of Barum off of his body. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this right here is the most satisfying death in Chainsaw Man Part 2 by a country mile. And a country is very, very, very big. The meddling and planning Barum has done to effectively ruin Dingy's life has come to one of the most satisfying deaths in the series yet. However, it does feel like at this moment, Barum has the last laugh as this is exactly what Barum hoped to achieve at the end of the day. Also, I was browsing some Reddits and someone pointed out that there are differences between the Japanese and manga plus version of this chapter. It's very subtle, but in the panels showing Asa turning into Yoru, in the Japanese version, Dingy is shown pulling his ripcord, but it was replaced in the Manga Plus version with Asatism. Some are speculating that the Japanese version is the most current version of the Manga Plus version, and that's an older draft. Part of that speculation is that Barum as well may have pulled the ripcord himself, and if this is true, which I don't really think it is, and implies Barum even on his way out wanted nothing more than to see Chainsaw Man be brought out to the whole world to see, it's just another way to make him suffer. It would also be pretty despicable of him to do that as as well, but then again, Dingy was already going to turn into Chainsaw Man by that point because of his guts and all that. I mean, l l l details, you know. Asa, scared, has Yoru take over as Barum's head rolls as Dingy leans forward and transforms into Chainsaw Man, a figure that we haven't seen since the end of Chainsaw Man Part 1. Also, this one is interesting because this Chainsaw Man is actually smaller than we saw last time, I think. This could just be perspective with this chapter, but seeing as Fujimoto went full Fujimoto and drew Chainsaw Man so well, I feel like this could be significant because if you go back to chapter 85, which is the Chainsaw Man chapter, he's just as black as he is here, still has the intestines wrapped around him, but the difference is he seems bigger there than he does here. Now, this could just be because Kobini is a very small person, also bring back Kobini, you cowards, but well, we'll have to see. Some nice details is that even Yoru is quite shocked to see Chainsaw Man which is notable because this is who she wanted to fight from the very start. Then again, judging by some of Yoru's recent actions, maybe she prefers Dingy in this form too, who knows? But either way, I do wonder how Yoru will play out in this fight if she even does. I think she'll need to help Chainsaw Man, but she also may need to stop his rampaging too. I mean, th think about it. There is no way Special Division 5 will be able to take down an enraged and unchained Chainsaw Man. So after they lose, which you know I could be wrong about, what happens then? What can stop the rampage of Chainsaw Man now that his daughter is pretty much dead? Why not just burn the whole world down because the world burned away his life from the very beginning? He will need to take out his frustrations, boiling 
up for years now, and I imagine the only person we can see right now being able to stop him from doing that is Yoru and possibly Fami. So my guess is that we will absolutely see Yoru and Chainsaw Man square off if he is able to destroy all of the special Div Division 5 like we think. However, there is one man we haven't seen in a while, right? Of course, I'm talking about Kishibe. We've seen that Special Division 7, for the most part, is working with Team Asa. So are we finally going to see maybe Kishibe return in the climax of Part 2? I mean, we'll just have to wait and see. Either way, I think some crazy stuff is about to happen for the next handful of chapters. We see this awesome page of Chainsaw Man in all his glory, just absolutely brutal looking. I mean, oh, God, he's so cool. That's really dumb. But, but he's so cool! But that's so dumb! Public Safety makes some interesting notes that they have cited the eyeless Black Chainsaw Man and that they're sending in the debuting Special Division 5. And what we see is a glorious and creative set of designs for the new division. One of them looks like a guy named Blorg from Planet Blorgon. Another looks like an alien waifu. Another is probably Blorg 2 from Blorgon 2. Alligator Man, because you know, after all, he's one of the most important superheroes of our time. He's one part alligator, one part man. And finally, <sighs> Come on, y'all. We already know who this is. It's Himeko Toga. Uh, okay, but seriously though, some people are suspecting her to be the next blood devil, which if true, that's significant because she's just going to be brutally murdered by Chainsaw Man. Joking aside, she's got a cool design, way from material for sure. But this job is pretty important for them because this is their make or break moment. If they fail here, then they'll be put down. So all they need to do is damage Chainsaw Man in any way they can, and all they need to do is keep him from leaving, and if they do that, they'll receive due recognition, and if they survive, well, heck, some booze and sushi, and, and that's what I'm talking about. You know, after fighting the most feared devil in all of existence, nothing washes it down better than some booze and sushi. All right, cut the crap. Blorgon and Blorgon 2 deserve better than this. I will not stand for this injustice. It paints all the Blorgonians in uh, bad light. Uh, yeah. So they commence operation as objective number one has failed. They were unsuccessful in containing Chainsaw Man as he is standing right behind them. Uh, most likely waiting to, you know, cut into all of them. And this just shows the terrifying speed of Chainsaw Man. And now that Denji is in the state he is in, I feel like Special Division 5 will be lucky if Blorgon 2 survives, let alone Blorgon. My guess is that they're all about to be brutally chopped up into bits, which will then force either Yoru or Fami to face Chainsaw Man, which knowing Fami's plan, she's probably in the corner with her head bent at an angle, staring at a piece of lint, trying to figure out where the elbow goes. So my guess is Yoru, Kishibe, and Quan Chi are also most likely to show up here. Also, I'm going to throw this one in there, in there but um, bring back Kobeni. We still don't know all of these years later what devil she is contracted with, but if Chainsaw Man is, you know, this fast, well, <laughs> heck, I'm pretty sure Kobeni would be able to at least match his nimbleness. Also, you got to think as well, Kobeni is one of the few people to come in contact with Chainsaw Man and survive it to tell the tale to a team of therapists. <sighs> Yeah, I know I'm coping. She's probably not coming back. Whoa, hey, video not over yet. Where the freak is Spaghetti Monster at? Oh, you know who I'm talking about. Where the freaking heck and heck is Fami? This chick wasn't in the chapter at all. So where exactly is she? As much as I would love for her to be in a corner trying to figure out the meaning of Elbow, I think this is a sign of something else. I think maybe she's disappeared and is rendezvousing with the necessary people to continue her plan. Also, she could have taken Nyata's head to some place too. We only saw her head in this chapter after all, so maybe she snatched it up. Either way, Fami, I think at this point, cannot be given the benefit of the doubt any longer, and she cannot be trusted. And on top of that, where's Katana Man too? I don't know. Something smells like fish. Anyway, what did you guys think about this chapter and where do you think Denji's character is headed next? Also, is Nayuta still dead and will Kishibe finally show up? Let me know your thoughts and theories and as well subscribe and drop a like on the video. We're nearing 5.5k subs and it would be mega rad if you guys could subscribe. Thank you for watching for all of your support. Everyone stay safe and stick together out there.